Hi, everybody. First of all, I have to mention that I'm not part of the Frogs team. I didn't really work on this Frogs project, so I just lost a bet, and I am here to present something, but something I think is really interesting for the community who are making metagenomics, and uh, so I think we, you will be appreciated. And as we are late, maybe you don't have to pose to ask question to me, but you can come at the 17, the posterior 17 after. There is no problem to discuss, discuss more about the details. So, I will speak about Frogs, who is a tool suite dedicated to find rapidly OTU with Galaxy Solution. Uh, so, when you study microbial, microbial communities, uh, you want to uh, focus, for example, on the genetic part. You can uh, use uh, 16S RNA uh, extraction and sequencing to obtain some RNA amplicons. And after bugging all the bioinformatics data processing part, and the goal is to have something like this for an abundance table where you have OTU and related species and you can, after, uh, analyze in each sample you have uh, the different representation of each OTU, so each species. So when you study uh, amplicon sequences, the idea is that you are searching for species, you are, searching for, you are searching for something like uh, A and B, and in fact, due to a lot of different variability, uh, technical viability, biological viability, uh, you will uh, have something more than the things we have uh, with some clouds of sequences, and this is the beginning of uh, problems. So, uh, to work on it, we have to have an approach, an operational taxonomic unit approach, where you need to cluster the sequences, and you search to analyze the uh, to regroup the viability, the intraspecific uh, species variability uh, in one cluster, and after you will succeed maybe to have one cluster by each species. So as mentioned before, it exists some bioinformatics solutions. For example, SHIME, who is well known as UPERS or MOTHER and uh, MGREST. Uh, problems are, first of all, that it's mainly common line tools, so for biologists, it can be something uh, not really, uh, really good to use, and it's not very easy to use this, this kind of tools. Moreover, we can have problem installing these tools, in particular when you have a lot of different parts, a lot of different dependencies, and there is some tools particularly who are quite difficult to install and use. You have also problem in the, um, the manner they are using, for example, clustering, or they are selecting threshold to have uh, results. And after, you have also problems maybe uh, sometimes with, uh, for example, the fact that you didn't, uh, you can't analyze my sick data or things like that. So, there is frogs. Who is designed to people who didn't have really bioinformatics skills and who want to analyze data uh, to be uh, autonome, but uh, without, uh, with, we have to keep in mind that we, we want to, have, to keep accuracy and maybe we want to have better accuracy and uh, have equivalent speed than concur concurrent solutions or a better speed. So, Frox pipeline is divided like this. I didn't know if you well see the things, but uh, anyway, you have a, the, the main pipeline is here. You have to upload data. You have then to pre-process the data. You make a clustering of the data, and here it's using a beautiful algorithm, Swarm. You have to consider to see it if you want to make clustering of uh, metagenomic data. Uh, then, a uh, step to remove Chimera, uh, and uh, finally, uh, a last tool for affiliation, OTU affiliation. Inside, aside of this, this main uh, pipeline workflow, we have some other tools for statistics. 
for normalization, filtering, and also for conversion. We can see here that there is a lot of different existing tools who are used, like Flash, Cutadapt, uh, Swarm, VChime, Research, RDP Classifier, Fire, and uh, Blast. And you have also some homemade scripts. Uh, yeah, I can speak a little bit about the programming strategy. Uh, the idea was to really pay attention to have reasonable input and outputs in numbers and also in disk space uh, without, without uh, losing uh, information. Uh, these tools are used through Galaxy but are also uh, enabled to be used through uh, command lines. You have explicit logs and a particular uh, effort has been made to have graphical summary outputs. Another thing is uh, input-output format. So as you can see, you can treat a really large different type of data. Uh, you, can, uh, you can use already configured data or uh, use another tool to configure data. Here we see that uh, the first tool is using archive. It's a little bit a problem, I know, for this, uh, this pipeline, and uh, he are using, uh, he's using a uh, terrible uh, archive, so yeah, there is something to do on, on it. There is uh, extensively using outputting of HTML for, uh, to have a report and filtering and beautiful uh, pictures. And there is something to mention uh, also, it's the fact that the Frogs team have uh, allowing the fact to add the Biome um, data type to Galaxy. When we see at the tool decomposition, in fact, each tool is composed of Python script, XML file, and optionally, template HTML if there is a file report. So what is quite cool is we have explicit logs with uh, the mention of the command line use, the detail of the start and stop of the programs, and uh, we have some results on the logs. And after you have summary HTML base, uh, based on a um, template uh, file. Uh, one thing quite interesting also maybe it's uh, that they really want to treat each input and output uh, uh, as uh, automatical, automatical things, so didn't have just a big uh, mess on the outputs. And they pay attention to have no temporary files left. So uh, the Galaxy XML wrapper on the Python program, in the parameters you have variable ones who are uh, who are related to biological parameters, and you have fixed ones who are related for number of CPU and RAM, for example. And after you have a beautiful uh, help section with a frog. So uh, concerning the template HTML, there are several ones who are uh, generated. So I can show you uh, the kind, uh, some example, if I have time. So uh, here it's a frog's preprocess HTML, and I have a, an apple here, and apple didn't like me, I hope. It's quite challenging to, to go out, I think. So I hope it will work. Yeah. So for example, you have this kind of uh, report who are generated by frogs, and this is something quite interesting and beautiful, once again, for biologists. And you can, for example, here see the samples you have before process, after process, after uh, making some uh, filtering, uh, different filtering. You can export in CSV. You can uh, select some Samples also, and watch. Yeah. And display amplicon lengths, for example, like this. 
before and after preprocess. And you can choose to download the charts uh, and uh, choose uh, the format you want. Sorry, uh, <laughs> power plus. I'm like a frog. Uh, Thank you, sorry for that. So uh, we have other example I can't show you now, but we can, uh, if you are interesting, you can ask me and I have the example on my computers. So you have curves, box plot, and uh, some of other type of uh, graphics you can see here, for example. And I have to make some frogs announcement. First of all, there is no publication yet on frogs. This is something quite frustrating for me, but uh, because I was preparing this talk uh, without any publication, it will be quite uh, interesting to have. So uh, it's in preparation. There is a, a poster who are uh, the 17 here, and uh, they are working on training session, up to six training session organized in France per year. There is a GitHub repository available, and new feature coming soon, as the, um, the fact that they want to add other database for affiliation, uh, other than SIVA, like uh, GreenGenes or ITS, and uh, adding new filtering tools, and add frogs in the Galaxy tool shed. Yeah, it could be quite good, that's true. So I think I have finished. If you have questions, don't hesitate to come to the poster 17. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. You mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is not based on uh, Galaxy tools, visualization tools. This is only JavaScript and uh, HTML things uh, were generated by the tool at the end of the, pro the process. Oh, good question. I didn't know, in fact. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, we, I can check. Thank you.